Due Process, FASB and IASB. Objectives, describe generally FASB's due process for issuing new guidance, understand why the FASB concept statements are not authoritative, and review IASB due process. Here are seven steps of the standard setting typical due process. This is what the FASB uses. And the due process means that the uh, FASB listens to input from all sources before making a decision. So step one, interested parties submit agenda topics to the board for consideration. Then the board votes on and approves items for inclusion on its agenda. The board explains its rationale for topics not added. Next, the board has initial deliberations on the issue, in some cases releasing a preliminary views document or discussion paper to solicit constituent feedback on the board's direction. Fourth, the board meets with its working groups, advisory bodies, and other constituents through public roundtables as necessary to gather additional input on the project. After all this, after reaching tentative decisions on an issue, the board then issues an exposure draft, a proposed standard. This is the formal vehicle for soliciting public comments on proposed guidance. So as you look at step five, go back and look at the input received in steps one through four. Next, the board reviews feedback, re-deliberates, then issues a final standard. So you can see the process of this due process of listening to the public. Last, a transition resource group may be formed to address adoption issues. And note that multiple exposure drafts may be necessary. And this may not be a fast process, but it is a fair process and input is always considered. Now let's look at some tips from uh, Wyrick. Uh, we have 10 steps. Identify the problem when considering legal pressures. Consider interested party input to determine if the issue is worthy of consideration. Establish the task force. Have research staff investigate issues. Issue discussion memos. Hold public hearings. Analyze results of investigation. Communicate responses and conduct additional public hearings. If appropriate, issue an exposure draft. Request additional comments and hold additional public hearings. And then issue the final standards. The SFAS were the pre-codification standards. And now the FASB will issue accounting standards updates. So we do have the transition there from what you may have studied in prior courses to the way the FASB issues new standards today to update the codification. Uh, let's look at the concept statements. Uh, concept statements are very good. These are not authoritative because they did not go through the due process. But use these for definitions and for some basic understanding. They will help with the research in the authoritative material, the codification, and they will also help when authoritative uh, literature does not exist. So here we have a laundry list of the concept statements that we will cover in this course. And again, know that they are helpful, but they are non-authoritative. And last, we want to look at the IASB due process. Uh, six stages, and this is very similar to the FASB due process. Receive input from working groups, plan the research project, Develop and publish a discussion paper, which is an optional step, but an important step. Develop and publish an expose, exposure draft. Develop an IFRS or publish a second ED. So either reach a decision for a new standard or uh, go back and issue a second exposure draft. Hold meetings with constituents with respect to implementation guidance.